this is Billy Crump. It is springtime in Augusta and we're at the Collegiate Championships. I'm here with David Felberg, the coach of the University of Oregon. Dave, how you doing? Good, man. Well, now, this is a little different. Uh, Dave, you've been here ever since its inception, if I'm not mistaken, uh, your well, team. My team wasn't here the first year, but they were here last year. And uh, I was here, though, and uh, I've had some experience. Scotty Odom was the first national champion, and, and we worked together. So. Well, give us an idea. I mean, we're going to, you know, we play some alternate shot doubles tomorrow. We play some singles Friday. Everything really is shaken down to trying to get to a final four for these guys. Give us an idea of exactly how this is going to work and what's going to happen. What they're going to do is we're going to play an alternate shot round. And how that works is they're going to send out two teams. So he'll, you know, maybe some kind of rivalry, maybe Kentucky and and four guys on each Oregon, team, by the way, Auburn and Alabama or something like that. And what they'll do is they'll go out and they'll take their two teams and they'll play alternate shot. And there'll be eight players, but actually four players playing as two as one. And so two from Oregon will play as one player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what happens is you'll take the best score per hole. So say uh, Oregon team one goes 2-5-2 two, two in alternate shot, and Oregon team B goes 5-2-5. Five, five. Well, Oregon just went 2-2-2 two, two, two for the best score for the three holes. So it'll be real competitive, and you'll actually have a chance to uh, uh, take each other out, kind of a heads-up battle, maybe create some rivalries. And then they'll add those strokes together, and they'll do it again. They'll play an alternate shot around in the afternoon on what they call hogback. And uh, they'll do the exact same format. You'll probably play with a different school based on the score of the first round. And then the next day, they'll take those scores, they'll be added together, and that's what they'll start in singles. And we'll go out with each team, one per group, three other colleges with my kids, so there'll be four players per group. And they'll go out and they'll play singles. And we'll start four players in each, each round, and we'll take the best three scores and add those to our double score. And we'll do that uh, four rounds, a morning round on Friday, an afternoon round on Friday, morning round on Saturday, afternoon round on Saturday. By that point, we'll have a final four, probably. And what we'll have is all the strokes added together for those rounds will be a total score. So you'll see at the scoreboard, plus 27 or minus 10. That'll be the team score. And then they'll go to an alternate shot on the really hard course, the black, in the same format they played the first two rounds with eight players, two teams, play an alternate shot. Now the trick to it is, besides having the overall team national championship, the top 10 individual scores for all rounds combined, including their doubles and their singles, will be up for the national champion. Top 10 will get the All-American award, first team All-American top five, second team All-American second five. They'll also be, for the first time ever, a national doubles champion, and that'll be for the three rounds of doubles. They'll be the same teams playing together, and whoever has the best three double scores within the tournament will be the national doubles champions. So we'll crown three national champions this weekend. The national champions for the team, doubles, and an individual national champion. And we'll actually crown four because Friday night we've got the Guts National Championship. Oh, wow, it's in town. Here. And that's going to be really great. Pete's yeah. just done a lot of stuff. Now, we've got 26 teams here. Obviously, the University of Oregon's here. Kentucky's here. Clemson's here. There are some big name schools. Augusta State, Mississippi State, the returning champs. The returning champs, Double G. I just seen him warming Florida. up with his team in the University of Florida. We're going to get around the course. We're going to try and we'll catch up with Dave when he's out with his team, working with his team, let you introduce some of those guys. And Dave, appreciate you sort of explaining. Yeah the format and how everything's going to go. Good luck this weekend. Thanks. Just watch us on pdj.com and support the kids because they're the future. Representing Indian Hills from Ottumwa, Iowa. My name is James Half. Zach Hill. Rich Kennedy. Tim Reagan. Victor Streeby. Number one. Ow! <laughs> Nathan Pitts representing the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Von Wolf is our coach. Couldn't make it over this week, but uh, we're going to still represent. I'm uh, Jared Delaney from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. I'm Jared Neal. Scott Turner. Julian Olander. David Machado. Hey, I'm Garrett Gerthy from Gainesville, Florida. And here we're here to represent Gainesville, Florida, Florida Gators. Uh, starting up, I'd like to introduce my team. This is Luke. Uh, we have Bob, Brian, Josh, and David, our team captain. So uh, we're here to uh, have fun this weekend and represent the Florida Gators as best we can. Uh, we're, we're going to do a good showing out here this weekend. 
Yeah. Go Gators. Go Gators. Gator, Gator Bay. Gator Bay. Gator Bay. Sullivan, Seth Deal, and Chris Foscow. <laughs> Sweet. All right. My name is Eric Bailey. I'm from the University of Arkansas. I'm a sophomore and I'm a 2009 second team All American. My name is Jason Daniel. I'm also a junior at the University of Arkansas. Uh, my name is Ryan Black. I'm a junior at the University of Arkansas and I'm also the president of the club. Nice. My name is Tyler Owen. I'm a uh, Dude. Oh really? It's a montage. Talking about disco. Everything happens for your face. They they shut the guy over on Sunday morning, but do you want to say anything at all? Yeah. Sure. Uh, national championship fundraiser disc uh, from Fayetteville, Arkansas, all the way to South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen and a half hour drive. We came all the way from the University of Oregon, um, located in Eugene, to play here at the Hippodrome at the NCDGC 2010. <laughs> well, I'm Steven. I'm a junior at the U of O, and I'm a biology major. First year here. Excited to be here. Great weather. Yeah. Uh, my name is Maggie Drews. Um, I am a junior as well, and my major is geography and minor of environmental studies. And uh, apparently I'm the fourth woman to participate in this event, so I'm pretty excited about that. My name is Marty. Uh, I'm a senior time-wise. I'm a double major in music composition and Japanese. Anyways, this is the Ducks C team. Yeah. Ready? Go One, Ducks! One, two, three! Go Ducks! <laughs> <laughs> We're the University of Oregon Ducks, uh, defending last year's Devils Championship. Uh, my name is Derek. I'm a sophomore and first time here. My name is Logan. I'm a sophomore. It's my second year here. My name is Jacob. I'm a junior and it's my second year here. And my name is Colin. I'm a sophomore and this is my second year here. One, two, three, go Ducks! my A team. Uh, I brought multiple teams. We have uh, 11 players here. We have two teams in the B flight. But this is my national championship squad. I got my junior All-American, Cody Cornett. He's the captain. I got my uh, junior right here returning second time at the national championships, Noah Pulitzer. We got a freshman right here, new meet. Looks like he's going to be a good player, Chris Becker. And first time player, sophomore, Nate Bush. These players right here have been coming to practices all last two terms. They're real serious about it. They play all the time and uh, they're not kids that just played disc golf and they went to the university because they're in this championship. They learned to play at the university. Cody played a little bit but most of them learned to play while they were going to college and uh, this is where we need to start. We need to bring the kids up to college roots and root them on. Let's go Ducks, right? Go Ducks, dude. Go, go Ducks! ducks. Augusta State Jaguars, Steven Cordaro. I'm a sophomore. Go Jags. I go to Augusta State, my name is Brad Davis. Just want to come out here and represent ASU. Hopefully play a good round out here. Woo. Go Jags. My name is Greg Davis from Augusta State as well. I uh, hope, hope to have a lot of fun this year. It's my first time. But uh, go Jags, we support the team out there. We're here from uh, Western Illinois University in Macomb, Illinois. We're representing the WIU Leathernecks. Uh, my name is Kenny Glassman. I'm Scott Perrick, junior art major. John Manuel, RPTA major. Uh, Nick Ramson, I'm a senior art major. Ryan Garrick, senior political science major. I'm a graduate student in biology, and uh, we're here to show a good team for our school. Yeah, bring back the trophy. All right, Leathernecks on three. One, two, three. Go, Go Leathernecks! Leathernecks! <laughs>
Well, fortunate enough to run down Augusta's own Scotty Odom. Scotty O, you are the original National Disc Golf Champion. Uh, that was 2007, correct? Yeah, back in 2007. And uh, what school were you playing for? Uh, I was playing for the University of South Carolina. University of South Carolina. And you're out here today. What are you doing out here uh, in 2010? I'm just hanging out with some of my friends that I met last year and Dave, you know, just throwing some discs, checking out the new course, seeing how yeah. I was playing. He's being modest. He's showing the University of Oregon all the ropes around the track. <laughs> We just wanted to introduce you to him. This is the original national champion, Scotty O. Thanks for coming out. Buddy. Well, this is Billy Crump, and I'll tell you, I've had a magnificent day. I've been out here amongst these college kids, and it's a great feeling out here. You just wouldn't believe the pride. I'm now with the man himself, Pete May. Pete, let me shake your hand. What a wonderful job you've Thank done. You. Thank you. Not only is it a great course, do you have hanging baskets? Do you have sunken baskets? You've got baskets on hills. You've got tall, skinny girls. I mean, it is amazing. Corrals, what I'm seeing, and the way these guys are acting. I I mean, you're the man, I, I bow to you. Tell me what you're doing here, man, because it's special. Well, first we're having fun. Uh, we're going after uh, creating a grassroots move for college disc golf. That's what we're really after. And we want these kids on finals day, on final Sunday, to feel like it's March Madness. And if we create that atmosphere, disc golf is gonna bust wide open. Now you started with six, six teams. teams. Six teams, we and were that fortunate. Was... We had Southern Cal. That made it legit that we had a West Coast team. We actually, our commissioner, Dr. John Black, called the president of Southern Cal and got him to send a team. And they committed for the first they two years. They committed for two years and came two years. And that really was the catalyst that really put the wind in my sail, that we could do something. And so now here we are in our fourth year, we have 26 teams in the championship division. And so far, seven teams in our first flight division. So we're jacked. Now, if you're, uh, if you're a player, and you're in college and you're watching this and you're saying, wow, I didn't know anything about that. How do they get involved? How do they get their team associated what with What they you guys? do is they go to Disc Golf on Google and look up College Disc Golf on Google and it'll get them to the Facebook bulletin board or to our website, ncdgu.com, and it'll tell them what to do. That's ncdgu.com. And I'll tell you, Pete, I am so proud and I can't wait till the weekend. And we're gonna talk to you some more, but we're looking for that Final Four and uh, it's gonna be special. All Weekend long. Thank Let's you. Let's have some madness. Well, it's been a great day here at the Hippodrome. Billy doesn't have fond memories of this place. This is where my last competitive round was in the world. But I'll tell you, all those memories have faded since I've came in here. This is just something special. If you guys are in college and you want to be a part of this, you need to contact Pete because uh, we've got 26 teams this year. I expect 40 to 50 next year. And Pete won't be happy until we've got a 1,000 teams and we're competing throughout the year to get to here. This is the Hippodrome. We'll be with you all weekend long. This is a collegiate championships, baby. We're going to the final four.